We're back, baby. Mega Man Zero? Three. Hey guys, it's Turner4590, and welcome back to Let's Play the Mega Man Zero series. Uh, last year we played through uh, Mega Man Zero 1 and 2 back-to-back uh, -back because they're very short games, and as I promised last year, we are now returning to the series to finish off the last two games, being Zero 3 and four uh, but hey we're on three right now so that 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 we're on the good one. <laughs> oh god i'm digging my own grave immediately okay you know the drill at this point Let's start a brand new game <laughs> they just summed up zero two in two sentences i mean zero one that's the entire plot of Zero One in two sentences. How many sentences will Zero Two take? One? Yeah, Seal was talking about that in, uh, in Zero Two a lot. Yeah, that... Asshole. I mean, just look at that face in the top left. That is a man you, you definitely trust. Except for his desire for power, that that's the one thing you can't trust. Love the remix of the uh, new Arcadia theme, by the way. <laughs> Duty. Fierce battle, my ass! It's the easiest final boss in the series. Well, you, you bet it's only just begun. We have two more games. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I thought... I thought Seal had, like, a, a mug or something of coffee, <laughs> but no, it's just her clenched fist. That's pretty cute that Seal has to wear a, a jacket, because, like, these other three with her are robots. They don't give a shit about the gold. The Seal system. Yeah, New Arcadian customer service probably isn't the best. As well as the fact that the leaders hate your guts, probably. Whoa. Don't be such a... me. What is that in the distance? What the hell? Is that a sword ship? That is badass looking. Yeah, it looks like it. Really? investigate though let's go yeah right into it okay let's just quickly go to the options menu for a second and perfect there we go okay so the gameplay of zero uh, three has a like it's very similar to zero two but we'll uh, get into that later um, as you can hear right now, the soundtrack, as usual in the series, is quite good. This track isn't as good as Departure, personally, but it's still good. Uh, I guess I'll get into the mechanics real quick. 
So first off, uh, they've actually changed it so you don't need to level up the Z Saber at all. Uh, or the Buster. We can charge the Buster right now. I believe we can also charge the Z Saber right now, too. Yeah, we can. That's crazy. Um, I'll just go to the menu real quick. Um, so, uh, the cool, there's, they've done a lot of cool things with the uh, menu system in this game for, like, equipping stuff. But uh, we have nothing to equip right now except for our main and sub. EX skills are back, but uh, they're we don't actually have access to them unless we uh, get a good rank on bosses and i'm not gonna be getting a good rank on bosses because i suck um control type and cyber elves which i'll get into later they've changed how the system works uh, a little bit it's not nothing um too crazy um at least compared to something like zero four which completely changes it um anyway uh these copy chips on the ground uh not copy chips these uh uh, chips. Uh, let's just call them chips. <laughs> Yummy! Um, they're basically the new collectible of the game, and they have uh, everything from enemy enemy data to cyber elves to uh, just a ton of stuff, and that's your main collectible now. Yeah. Can't believe we're already at the ship. That was close. Zero, you're not a stealth operative. You cut everything up with your sword. Uh-oh. <laughs> Our bullets do nothing! Oh, that doesn't sound good. What the? Arbuya, you're already here? Wow. He's going to take us off. <laughs> Let's go, you and me, one-on-one, -on -one, right now. First boss. Oh, he's so nice. Well, at least didn't, like, try and, like, stab us in the back or anything. I mean, like, he's on the other side, so he can't stab us in the back. He'd have to be on our side. He's kind of on our side? I don't know. <laughs> he, he's a weird character. What the what? What? What the what? Well, I think it was more of a, a roar, but okay, if you think roar means zero in some alternate language, then okay, sure. Yeah, not really. <laughs> that guy just died. Whoops. Okay. See, so yeah, gameplay is is functionally identical to the uh, the previous game in the series. You chop things up with your sword. You you do cool things like uh, jump up walls like that. And, uh, yeah, you can just slice everything to bits as fast as you can, because you're zero. Oops. Yeah, that felt so cool. Oh my god. No! I almost did it without getting hit. Oh well. Okay. Already the boss. Let's see what's calling us. I'm home! Leviathan? And Fafner, what the hell? What the hell is giving them so much trouble? What the hell is that thing? Omega? <laughs> he looks like it. Oh, by the way, I'm here now. <laughs> Fevner just, like, puts his gun, like, on Zero's shoulder, just blasts him. Or, or, or better yet, like, he uses Zero's shoulder, like, he props his gun on Zero's shoulder, and, like, props himself up <laughs> with Zero. You're just gonna leave Fefner here to die? <laughs> yeah, really. Oh, sure you will. See ya. Hmm. 
Okay, final boss, Omega! Wait, no, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Uh, first boss, Omega, and uh, this boss is, uh, first off, I want to just say real quick that uh, really cool boss theme. It's cool that Omega actually gets his own theme. It's not just the normal boss theme. Um, and this boss is a little bit, um, I was about to say tricky, but that's a blatant lie. This boss is actually super easy, as you can see right now. I believe he only has three attacks. Oh, wait, no, I take that back. He only has two attacks. Uh, one of them being these, this ring uh, move, and the other being the energy blue beams. Uh, but, again, he only has two attacks, so he's going to cycle through them in a random pattern, and he's already gone, so that's the Mighty Omega dealt with. Hmm. Oh. Well, thanks, Arpuya. Yeah. What? Who the hell are you? What? Wheel, Doctor Wheel, huh? Doctor Wild, Doctor Doctor Whale, <laughs> Doctor Whale. We finally have a, a person in the series who can speak whale. Who the hell are you? Really? What the f- What?! Oh, <laughs> bows down immediately! This- no, this is impossible. A copy of a copy! This is not good. <laughs> yeah, even Harpui is on Seal's side. Okay, then. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's cool how Omega has its own teleport animation. Well, things went to shit real quick. <laughs> she's, she's actually hiding behind the boss door right now. He was like, just, just peeking out from around the corner. Okay, so let's see how we did on the mission. I'm gonna guess an S rank, but I did get damaged a little bit more than I would have liked. Oh, we still got an S rank still. Uh, anyway, so yeah, with uh, on this screen you can actually decode the chips right here. You can also decode them inside your base, but you can also decode the ones you get right here. And uh, yeah, you can get stuff like E crystals, cyber elves, and uh, and there are some discs you can't analyze here. But I'll get more into disc analyzing uh, in a bit. Yeah, you, good thinking, Zero. Goddamn. Yeah, I've saved your hind two times now at this point. What's two more?
Yeah, I figured. Oh, sure, why not? Okay. Sure. Uh, so yeah, this is the base. Um, our teleporter room it looks really snazzy, which is really cool. Uh, but uh, if you go to the other side of the base, uh, the rest of the base is identical to Zero Two. So we'll still look, we'll still get give it a good explore after we uh, see Kerb Servo. Yeah, sure. Also, just want to point out that we have really cool bass music now. Um, definitely my favorite bass music in the game. And yeah, you can even find uh, secret discs uh, inside the base, so that's why we're going to want to explore it in a bit. Yeah. Oh, cool. Why would you need to fix it? Nothing happened, like... It's not like zero, the end of Zero One where we were wandering in a desert. I think it would have been cool if um, you started with the suit shield boot. Like, why, come, come to think of it, why did the chain rod disappear either? Because I missed the chain rod. The, the replacement for it is okay in this game. Okay, sure. Yeah, as usual. Oh. I'm gonna pretend I heard that. By the way, I'm gonna come right in and confront you about what you just said. What you just said to me! <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh, I know what I'm doing. Okay, so here's secret disc analyzing, and uh, yeah, we can basically... Uh, Wait, what? That's weird. The beast, like... That's weird. So I guess that's just a file, so like, a thing. Uh, you can also find cyber elves, like I said. Uh, cyber elves, cyber elf. If we go down here, e-crystals. And yeah, as, like I said, you can find details on enemies, so it's basically like, kind of finding like concept art and stuff uh, for their enemies. Just, it's cool. And also, the fact that um, all the secret discs are numbered, so 100%ing the game is actually a lot easier than the other Zero games, where you just have a square to go on in the Cyber Elf menu, and you're just like, what the hell square is that? But, like, every single one of these is numbered. So if you're missing disc 169, <laughs> uh, then you'd be able to find it very easily by looking up a guide. Say, if you found every single secret disc with that one. And I did not mean to confirm that. Whoops. Okay. So let's explore the rest of the base. Or explore this room with me. <gasps> Alouette! How are you? Aww. Yeah, she she has a lot to do right now. Yeah, they flew off with the Dark Elf. So I don't... <laughs> yeah, sure. That's priority number two after the Dark Elf. Let's go see what uh, Seal wanted to talk to us about. 